Hi everyone. I know this is, I'm in the shadows, but I wanted to do another tour of my friend's house. We're having our Christmas party again, and I just want to do a quick one. Of course, she's changed everything. It looks fabulous. Here we go. Okay, when you walk up to her door, you know, it's just always just a beautiful little setting, Christmas setting. And she just got this new... Their last name starts with a G. How adorable. She bought the letter and then she painted it. And she's, of course, got the beautiful front door and the candles. And so we're going to go in the house. And um, I think her tree is similar to last year. But it's nonetheless gorgeous. And last year this was like a sitting room. And she has changed it to be where the dining room is and she's just got the table shoved back because we're about to eat shrimp and empanadas and brie baked brie and all kind of things and it's fabulous whatever you call that okay i'm coming in they wanted a warning here she is the owner of the house hello and, and look friend. and look at her boots everyone oh. how old are you I'm in my 60s. See, Young you can 60s. wear whatever you want whenever you want, Larry. I okay, to forget get about these that. Babies down. I did All right. everything I could. <laughs> Here's some more friends. Hi. Okay, I have to show you this. Um, this is Larry. If I turn the light on, Terry, this is no. This is a thingy from Hobby Lobby. She got for 80 percent off. See, and she added these little balls underneath and it looks fabulous it was a garland so if you want to put something like that in your house it's cheap and beautiful and here's all this pretty red stuff I showed that and this is the outside where all the men gather by the by the fire here is the most gorgeous manger scene that you've ever seen am I right am I right I think I'm right here she put different just a little bow on them a little ribbon how cute is that? Look at these. Oh yeah, this is mine, personal one. I picked leopard, of course, because it had to match my shoes. <laughs> See? Of course. We had to match my shoes, which are actually snakeskin. Anyway, how adorable. That's a little that's a little idea for you if you want. And now this year, oh, let me show you the stairway. Here's the stairway that's so absolutely fantastic. Here's their stockings for their two kids, mom and dad, and the cat and the dog. Each have a stocking. And I've always loved that lamp. So cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go upstairs. Because we are lit going, we're in the loft. We just came upstairs, we're in the loft. And this is where we're going to open presents. So we all brought our presents up here. We, um, we, uh, you know, exchange gifts. Um, here's my outfit for tonight. Yeah. I don't know if you can see me at all, but anyway, here's my outfit for tonight. I just threw it together. But I did want to show you her daughter's room. And look, she is not on YouTube. And look how she has a clothing rack because she's super into design and clothes. And look at this, now ignore this stuff on the bed because this is from the party. Let me move it real quick. Actually, that's my purse and someone else's jacket. Anyway, how cute is this bedroom? It's real small, but it's perfect. She got this piece at Ikea, and this is where Maddie does her makeup, and just beautiful. Oh, there's a picture of my daughter up there. Beautiful, beautiful. Love that. Look at the chandelier. I want to say either Lowe's, Home Depot, or, yeah, it was either Lowe's or Home Depot. Just a gorgeous room, and then you've got the clothes. Just so fun. So anyway, we are having a, um, this is the last video I'm going to put up till after Christmas. Um, I'm taking a break. We had another setback in our family, so I'm taking a break, but we are going to, um, what's the word? I will see you after Christmas. A, I've got, let me go in another room where there's not that video, that music. 
we're going to, um, I think they're praying too for the meal down there. We're going to, um, I'm trying to get some lighting here. We're going to, um, I'm going to come back and do a video right after Christmas, my Christmas haul. I love doing those. They're so fun. I love watching those probably more than any video ever because I just love to see what people got for Christmas. And then I have a very exciting video coming up about the new year. It's not anything like, um, what's the word? Oh, they all just got loud again. I think the prayer is over. Um, it's not about New Year's resolutions, but it is about being organized in the new year. And it's so super simple. And I have been practicing the method since November to see if I liked it and if I wanted to share it with you and I do and so I, I want to share that system with you because it's beautiful it's it's just wonderful and it's so simple uh, a, a dog could do it and um, I'm going to share that with you after I'm going to share that with you the week after Christmas so that if you want to follow along and do it with me you can get your little notebook and by little I mean little notebook now, if you're into planners and big planners with big spirals, you're not going to like this idea. But if you're not into that, you don't want to drag that around with you all the time, this is the most perfect system. Um, even, Yeah, Merry Christmas. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi. Okay, I'm just ready to go to work, so I thought I would jump on and do my pre-Christmas haul. Hopefully, these gifts are going to be put on the tail end of my friend's house tour. So you probably just saw that, but who knows when I edit what will happen. But um, my friends and I went upstairs and in the loft of her home and we exchanged gifts. So let me show you what gifts I received that night from my friends. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun. Gift number one, and they're all, they were all really cutely packaged, but you know, I've opened them, but anyway. Here was gift number one. It had this, this is a really heavy duty um, initial thing. And so that's my last name. And so in this bag is gift number one. It came with instructions and what it was. We're all super getting into, um, doesn't that sound super getting into? <laughs> I sound like I'm in the eighth grade or something. Um, essential oils. So uh, she gave each of us Citrus Bliss by doTERRA and um, with instructions of how to use it and everything. So that was an awesome gift, and it is supposed to invigorate you. And it's a it smells like uh, citrus and just all kind of things, and it's fabulous and wonderful. And yeah, it's great. Gift number two was packaged so beautifully, as our friend always does. This was from Sheila. Our friend. she gave us these bulletin boards with our initial. We're really into initials in our group, but our initials on it. And there's really cute, like, little um, thumbtacks that are like chevron and polka dot and stuff. And so cute. So this was an awesome gift from our friend Sheila. And this is, like, painted. And this is, like, felt glued on top. She added the initial to each of our bulletin boards. So that was an awesome gift. That was from Sheila. This one was from Linda, just in case you want to know. Not that you know their names. This gift was really fun, um, and it was all cuter than this, but I opened it and didn't retype. But this friend got us each a tin. This is from Judy. Now, I've got the tin kind of pulled apart. It's a little tin like this, so cute, and, it, you know, you can change the people up, you know, and have... You know, whatever. Anyway, and then you open it up at the top, and it is full of red and green M&Ms. And we got a gift card to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods, wherever we want to shop. Love the gift card, and it was stuck down in the M&Ms. Isn't that adorable? Thank you, Judy. Next, you know what? There's not much light. I don't know why there's no light today. Next, our friend gave us this beautifully packaged gift, and um, I'm going to have to untie it to get it out, but I retie it. There we go. Um, last year, she gave she went to Pottery Barn, and she got us these scoops, 
these silver scoops and they it literally said on it scoop it's like for ice buckets and stuff like that this year she got us this one that says slice how nice this is heavy y'all this is heavy duty so cute so we said are you going to go to um, Pottery Barn every year and get us a different piece? And we'll have a collection if we all live that long. So that was cute. And the second gift she got us, I don't know if you remember last year, but she made us a plaque and it had a Bible verse on it in, hmm, I think it's Hebrew. Yeah, it was in Hebrew. This year, she gave us this. This is an actual picture that she, photo that she took when she was in Israel and she had it put on this plaque and had a Bible verse put on it. And this will go on my cross wall with my other sign and all my crosses and it's so cool. Love. So that was all from Susan. Now this gift was from Sandra and this was so funny when we open, opened these. This is a ditty bag. I guess but it's just the cutest bag and it's lined in plastic. And I think it's for like when you're traveling or anywhere and you wanna store something that's gotten wet, maybe your bathing suit, and you can throw it in here and it doesn't get anything else wet. So, I mean, I can think of a million things to use this bag for and I absolutely love it. And then inside the bag, we all got these things like with wire inside and they're just like, you can use them as like a scarf, like that. I'm not going to take time to fix it, but you can use it as a scarf. You can um, put it on other things. You can use it as a headband. All these different uses for these. And there were directions, and I lost mine. So I'm going to have to borrow someone's directions to make sure I know the different ways that you can wear that little scarf neck thingy, which was so cute. So these were all from Sandra. And then the final gift... It's from Daddy, the owner of the house. And what she did is she put all of these gifts on the bed in her daughter's room and shut the door. This was when we didn't we didn't know she was doing this, right? And so she put on some French music. She did she went last. And each of us we drew numbers, okay? I was number three. And one at a time we had to go into the room, choose our gift, and come out and model it. So we're like, what the heck? Well, it ended up being bags that she got from Ballard Designs, but they were different colors. I'll tell you the, the funny thing that happened in the end, but there were two that were olive colored, two, two or three that were tan, like a natural bur burlap type color, and uh, two, I think, that were a turquoise, um, a Tiffany blue. My natural choice would have been the burlap or the olive, most definitely. And so I open. I was number three, so I opened the door and I said, should I, should I step out of my box? And they all said yes. So this was the bag that I chose. It's their huge bags. They're burlap and they're just fabulous. They have a little, they're kind of beach bags, I would say, but they're coated in plastic so you, could, you can wipe them off. It has a little pocket for your phone or your money or whatever. And so these are the bags that she... This, this camera stuff, these are the bags that she gave each of us. And this color is not coming out on film. I can see right now, gorgeous color and, and really pretty leather handles. Well, the funny thing that happened was when she said you had to come out and model it, our friend Judy was number two. So she went back there and she was kind of in the room a long time. We thought she's having trouble choosing whatever it is. And she... And she, oh, she she cracked the door and she goes, are y'all ready? I'm ready to model. I shouldn't tell y'all this, but you know what? When you're at this age, everything's fine and everything's funny and everything works. She comes out and she had on black, really nice black jeans and a red Christmas, not Christmas sweater, just a red sweater. She took that sweater off. So she had her black bra on and she puts her bag on and her black pants and she comes out modeling. I'm telling you. We absolutely lost our minds, screaming, laughing so hard. I mean, tears, tears.
anyway, we have a great time together. And that was just the funniest thing. The men were downstairs, in case you're wondering. And they were wondering what the heck, because we were so loud the entire time. You know, every time we'd open a gift, we'd go, ah, oh, it's so great, blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, and, and it was so great, obviously, I, yeah, as you can see. So there's my pre-Christmas haul from my friends. And that's it. And I will see you after Christmas with my own Santa Christmas haul. See ya. Bye.